Welcome back everyone. For our last layout related component, we're going to learn about the image list component. As the name indicates, image list component is used to display a collection of images in an organized grid. If you're building a recipe website, for example, this component will be very helpful. Let's understand its usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI image list.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. At the top, I'm going to import the stack component and use it instead of the div tag. Let's add spacing is equal to 4. Now, for the image list itself, we need to import two components image list and image list item. Now to render an image list component, we need a list of images we can use as source. I'm going to copy paste an array of images at the bottom. It is a collection of images from Unsplash. This list is available in the MUI documentation so you don't have to worry about it. Now within the stack component, we invoke the image list component. On this component, we're going to set a few height and width related properties. So SX width is going to be 500, height is going to be 450. For the image grid, we specify columns is equal to 3 and row height is going to be equal to 164. Now that we have our container, let's define each item using image list item. Begin by mapping over the images array. So curly braces, item data dot map and for each item, render the image list item component. Specify the key prop as React requires it. So key is equal to item dot image. Image corresponds to this property in our object. Within the image list item, we specify the HTML image element. On this element, we specify source and this is going to be equal to the image property in each object. So item.image. To this though, we append a few query parameters. So let's add template literals, item.image followed by question mark and then we set width height, fit, auto and DPR. All these query parameters are related to the Unsplash API. If you have your own image collection, this URL will be much simpler. Now let's also specify an alt attribute is equal to item.title and set loading equals lazy. This will ensure images are loaded when required and not all at once when the page loads. Now we have this error because the prop is COLS instead of columns. If we now include this component in app component, and take a look at the browser, you can see the image list working as expected. Open the network tab, reload, clear the panel, and scroll down. You can see the last row of images are lazy loaded only when required. 
If you ask me, this is pretty handy as it saves page load time. Now what we have here is a basic image grid. Let's look at two more variants. I'm going to copy paste the entire image list component. This time though, we set variant prop equal to woven and instead of row height, we specify gap is equal to 8. I'm also going to copy paste a new items array which has more images than the first array. So scroll down, paste. And this is item data too. So instead of mapping over item data, we map over item data too. Head back to the browser. You can see we have a different image grid. The Vivian image list uses alternating container ratio to create a very nice layout. The third variant is the masonry layout. So once again, copy and paste the image list component. Now masonry variant needs a few more changes, so let me show what needs to be done. First, create a wrapper around image list using the box component. Make sure to import box at the top. Next, move the SX prop onto the box component instead of image list. So cut and paste. To the styles, add overflow Y and set it to scroll. On the image list, add variant is equal to masonry. Remove row height and specify gap is equal to eight. For the images, I'm going to add a new array once again. Let me copy paste a new array. So this is item data three. So in the JSX, change item data to item data three. The masonry layout is best suited for dynamically sized uncropped content and does well with aspect ratio of the image. So we're going to change the width to 248 and remove the height from the query parameters. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, refresh, you can see the masonry layout in action. Different images have different heights based on what looks best for that image. Finally, I want to showcase the image list item bar component which lets you add an overlay to each image. Let's import the component at the top. Now, in the first image list grid, within the image list item, below the image HTML element, invoke image list item bar with title is equal to item.title. If you now head back to the browser, you can see a very nice overlay with text on each image. The image list item bar in fact accepts a few more props. You can specify position using the position prop, subtitle using the subtitle prop, and lastly a clickable element using the action icon prop. Leave them for you to explore based on your requirements. All right, with that, we come to the end of layout and surface related components. Starting next video, let's take a look at navigation related components in Material UI. Thank you for watching. Do make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.